Back in 2009, when our brother Paul died in hospital, we felt the staff were ill-equipped to deal with people with a learning disability. There was a lack of awareness, a lack of training, and not enough tools available for the staff to use for a person with a learning disability. In 2014, we had the care bundle launched by the Welsh Government, which meant hospitals had to be seen to be making reasonable adjustments when dealing with a person with a learning disability. But implementation was a big word, so we set up our foundation. Uh, from the very start as a foundation, we were always focused on uh, creating practical tools that would make a difference on, on the ground. And implementation being a huge challenge, then there was a requirement for a liaison service and champions then to implement the care bundle and, and the tools that were created. These champions are out there on the ground making a difference. Between the two hospitals we have over 171 champions at the moment and the numbers are on the increase. Uh, myself and Joanne organise the agenda for the Learning Disability Champion Training which we have every six months um, and the topics that we, we cover are topics that our Learning Disability Champions are, are wanting to hear about and they're obviously Learning Disability specific and without our champions on our wards um, we wouldn't be able to sort of um, provide the care our learning disability patients require because we're not always in the hospitals um, Monday to Friday and 9 to 5. My name is Mitch, um, I have a brother Nathan, um, yeah he's, he's lovely, he's, uh, he's got Down syndrome and uh, he's, uh, he's a big part of uh, our family. I am really reassured now um, thanks to the learning disability ladies and nurses um, in the hospital setting, it gives me great confidence that if Nathan were to have um, uh, an inpatient admission to a hospital, that you know I know that his care would be top notch, and the learning disability champions would have you know they would have a, a lot of input. We have um, not just acute staff as our learning disability champions, we've also got therapists, we've got ward clerks, discharge liaison nurses, continence advisors um, and the message we, we're trying to get out in, uh, across all the hospitals is that learning disabilities is everybody's business. Within um, each of the areas our learning disability champions have had um, 
increased awareness and, and more experience of using the relevant paperwork for, for patients with learning disabilities as part of the secondary care pathway. So they know to ask about the traffic light assessment, they're aware of the risk dependency assessment um, and the learning disability care bundle and each of the wards and departments have the learning disability pack which the learning disability champions in addition to all of the ward staff are able to, to go and access those very, very tools that are going to support them in the care of a person with a learning disability. What we're trying to do throughout the learning disability champion training is to build a network across the hospital and with the posters with the champions names on any nurse can go to any ward and ask if that learning disability champion is on if they need advice. We also try to encourage the learning disability champions to make reasonable adjustments on the ward and to work alongside their colleagues to give them the confidence to make those reasonable adjustments as well. Our champions in the hospital are making absolutely fantastic reasonable adjustments. They're thinking outside of the box, they're being extremely creative in order to meet the needs of people with a learning disability when they're coming into hospital. Our vision as a foundation is to have liaison nurses in every hospital across Wales, to have champions on every ward, every department, to have the logo used to identify a person with a learning disability, to give staff practical tools with resource files on every ward, and we believe that this will make sure a person with a learning disability receives equal health care. For us as a foundation today, we feel extremely proud to be part of this conference of promoting champions uh, for people with a learning disability. So please, please all embrace uh, the systems uh, your support is, is, is hugely appreciated to make the difference as required. Thank you.